we've heard a lot um, since the governor announced that New Jersey was going primarily vote by mail. Um, a lot of in the news concerns that somehow vote by mail um, may make an election more susceptible to fraud. You know, we certainly don't believe that to be the case. But how do you respond to that question when people ask you of that? Well, it, it's interesting because uh, if you look back the past couple of years, um, most of the discussion has been around cybersecurity and the vulnerability of machines to hacking by foreign interests. And the experts for a number of years have been advocating having a, a verified paper trail in all election systems. And voting all on paper is the ultimate verified paper trail. Um, and like I say, we had a recount this morning. We had all the ballots there. You could examine them. You could see whether there were extraneous markings on there. You could see the intent of the voter as you looked at those ballots. You can't quite do that if a machine malfunctions, if they pressed a button and it didn't record that vote that they wanted. Although I don't believe that has ever been the case. Um, and in terms of fraud, it's, it's interesting because we hear a lot of discussion about what happened in Patterson in the, the primary election. But when you think about it, the reason why we know what happened in Patterson is because the system caught the fraud. It detected the fraud. Um, so we've got a number of items in place to make sure that fraudulent votes do not get counted and that only legitimate ballots cast by the voters are counted and that every single one of those is counted. So I'm, I'm very, very uh, sure that the system works.